I am recording. Alright, I'm going to go get the bike. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. I just realized something. You probably cannot hear anything. I don't know. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Alright, alright, alright. Hang on a second. God thing. Uh, let's see, how do you stop this thing and uh, don't you f Bluetooth off. Delete. Mother f All right, done. Turn this around. There it is. And then next. All right, damn it. Trying it again. I'll tell you what happened. So I turn on the damn bike, and next thing you know, the Bluetooth goes to the flipping bike. And you can't hear a damn thing I'm saying. Well, now hopefully you can hear me. I deleted the other video. It just pisses me off. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, God. All right. You can hear me now. Thank goodness. Thank you, Orvis. So I figured I'd just show you a little bit of my morning, right? Well, all good intentions. Anyway, while I got you here... Uh, this is my moto vlogging setup. So you've got here the GoPro Hero 7 Black. I'm recording uh, video and automatically audio because they go together. But I don't have a microphone jacked into this thing. It's just the regular ambient. And over here I have the 10C Pro from Cena, And that's recording uh, audio and video. And that's got the microphone inside here. And so when I edit the stuff in... Uh, let me see. Yeah, the audio comes from the 10C Pro. And the video comes from the GoPro in uh, Movie Studio 16. It's Vegas Movie Studio. I uh, silence the audio from this, and I silence the video from this. And that way, I get the best of both worlds. And if this thing craps out of me because of battery or whatever, then I can always use the video from this. So... Not too bad, right? Only problem is I have the microphone like right here, and so you can hear <laughs> my breathing. Sorry about that. Anyway, let's take a moment and appreciate the beauty. This is a nice fall day. It's 42 degrees. I'll show you this again. 42 degrees. Hey, Sharon. Good morning. Yeah, I still have leaves. Everything here in North Carolina is about a, a month after the north. There's my new North Carolina garden flag. Yeah, this is my this is my riding weather. You're exactly right, brother. You are exactly right. There's my bike. Dirty but fine. Take a look at this titanium here, huh? Look at that titanium puck. Look at that thing. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> it works great. Let's see. Thank you for the compliment on the flag. Hey, Alba Gobra. She's a beaut. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, uh, let me uh, flip this around real quick. And now, I wonder if I can... See, the problem is, I'm thinking about putting this on the, the mount here. I have a, uh, what's it called? Tack form phone mount. But the aspect ratio of this video is locked in by the phone. I can't change it. So I need to see if I can kind of turn this mount. Oh, I can. I can. 
Yes. Hang on a sec, folks. Trying to do this without causing stuff to stop. There we go. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride away. And then this video is probably going to cut out. And then I'll upload this stuff. I'll upload this stuff when I get to work. Because today's hopefully going to be a kind of quiet day. It's been busy as hell with uh, registration and scheduling and hiring new teachers and stuff. So hopefully today won't be too bad. Sorry for my watery eyes. I'm just so happy to see you all. Happy Thanksgiving to you too, Christopher. I'm going to have an awesome day. Thank you, Orvis. I hope so. I really do. I've got on uh, my Dainese gloves. I got on my climb jacket. I got on my Dainese boots. But I'm squinting for the pants because I'm just a lazy shit. All right, let's see. Let's see how this goes. Ugh. Can I adjust this somehow? Hey, how about that, huh? Yeah, I am very comfortable, that's for sure. I've got on my heated vest, which is not on, actually. It's not cold enough. I've got on uh, my heated grips and my heated seat. Who the hell is this? Oh, I thought somebody was coming down my driveway. It's just my neighbor pulling out. All right, uh, switching into gear. I'll see you guys uh, in the recorded video soon. I don't know how long this is going to last live. Let's see. This is my first time ever trying to do this. Probably sucks. <laughs> All righty. You can't see a damn thing. <laughs> and you're not going to be able to hear me either. Woohoo! Ah. Uh. Let me see if I can switch this around. Yeah, good, good, good. And then, let's see if I can move this back up so at least you can see something. That's better than nothing. Hey, you're still here? Wow, that's great. Let me see if I can turn this thing. Yeah, and then I'll move this thing up. All right, that's better. I hope I don't lose my phone. No, it's good. It's nice and tight. I'm just going to keep going, and it's probably going to go all herky-jerky, cut out and stuff. So feel free to hate this video. But I've never tried recording live while I ride, so here we go. Wow, that's shaky as Well, that sucks. Ah. All right, folks, so this is my Kaylee 7 coming to you from Willow Spring, North Carolina on, De on December, listen to me, November 27th, 2019. 
I'm recording live, as you may be able to see through here on there. I see people commenting, which is kind of cool. And uh, I'm sure the live video is going to suck. <laughs> but, uh, well, you know, something different. So let's see, what's what's the topic for today's ride? Well, one thing I wanted to talk about is is a, a, a piece of BS that I absolutely despise about motorcycling. And that is the way the manufacturers uh, advertise or talk about their performance numbers, like uh, horsepower and torque. I have noticed that uh, when you're when you're talking to the dealership, when you're looking online from the manufacturer, it'll tell you this this motorcycle has X number of foot pounds of torque and X number of horsepower, and you think, wow, that's really impressive. It's got over a hundred and something of this and a hundred and something of that. Isn't that awesome? And then, like I did on my 2017 Harley Davidson Ultra Limited, I got a stage four upgrade because I wanted the 20% more whatevers. I think that's what they advertised as, which is kind of stupid. I'm dumb. I'm, I'm an idiot. I never said I'm not. So it was like, uh, I was getting the they said that I was getting 111 foot-pounds of torque and 114 horsepower, something like that, 112 horsepower. And I thought, all right, I'm going to get 20% more than that. Well, <laughs> I get the dyno numbers back after the stage four build. And it says you got 111 foot-pounds of torque and you got 122 horsepower. And I thought, wait a minute, I started out with 111 foot-pounds of torque. And now I have 111 foot-pounds of torque. What the hell? So the guy's like, well, no, the, the number that you were looking at previously, that was at the crank in the engine or whatever. And now when we dyno it, it's at the rear wheel. So why have the two numbers? It's, it's a bait and fish, fish and, what do they call it? Bait and fish? Is that what they call it? Fish and bait? God damn it, I'm thinking of fish and cut bait. Anyway, it's a bait and switch. There you go. My age addled mind trying to grasp at straws here as I ride. You did notice I stopped at that stop sign, right? All right, anyway, so uh, I'm, I'm offline now. <laughs> just push a little bit of speed here oh my god I'm doing 70 slow down Mikey there we go that's better 45 mile an hour come on Mike so they should have just one number it should only be one measurement it should be at the rear wheel that's all end of story every manufacturer does it Indian, they, uh, there's all this massive horsepower and torque, and then when you dyno it, it's way less. So just put the lower number and keep the lower number. That way you have a, a standard thing of measuring. Or keep the higher number and, and always have the higher number and have that. But I think the higher number from the, the crank is not, it, it's not a true measure of your performance, right? Not as true as at the rear wheel. You want to know what it's actually doing where the rubber meets the road. Hell, that's why we say that, right? That's the important part, is where the rubber meets the road. So I think that's some major... The other thing, too, is... You know, like I got the Stage 4, and I did not want to void my warranty, because, well, it's a warranty, right? You want to be able to get stuff fixed if it breaks. So I got the factory-approved warranty safe Stage 4 upgrade. And then I, I put the, you know, put the numbers out there, the 
torque and the horsepower numbers for the Harley. And I get immediately comments from these other people, well, I did the, the solar upgrade and I got 7,000 times more than you did. And I'm thinking, well, wait a minute, you got, you did stuff that's aftermarket stuff. You know, one guy's like, I got 160 foot-pounds of torque and 180 horsepower from the same exact build. Like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, no, no. Sorry. Stage 4 upgrade's not going to get you that. You could get a, an aftermarket upgrade. You could turbo your bike. You could do a, a 124. There's all kinds of stuff you can do, but it's aftermarket and voids the warranty. <coughs> you could reflash the ECM. Voids the warranty. They put in, in my, in my Harley, they put in a, um, a tuner that was not approved by Harley. And so when I brought it in for my very last service before I traded it, they said they can't plug the bike in uh, to the Harley system because it'll void the warranty automatically. And they had that happen to several bikes, and so they, they figured that out the hard way. And so they said, well, we're not going to plug your bike into the Harley system, but we'll still do a, what we need to do. So that's some major BS. And I could reflash the ECM on this thing, but I, I don't I don't know if it will void the warranty. I gotta ask around for that. There's a place up in I think it's Pennsylvania that does it, or Virginia. Somebody put that on my page. So that way I can go faster than 112. <laughs> like you need to. What am I doing? Why am I parking all the way the hell over here on an empty day? There's nobody here today. Let me go over to where I can park, because my office is right there. And so I don't need to park over the other place. So there's nobody here today, because it's a day off for the students. So here we go. All right, this is my Kaylee 7. We'll talk to you later. Have a happy Thanksgiving.